years since Shannon Miller led the U.S. women's Olympic gymnastics team to the first ever team gold. Shannon also captured the gold medal on the balance team with seven Olympic and nine world championship medals. She remains the most decorated gymnast, male or female, in U.S. history. But Shannon is celebrating for a much more personal reason. Our Rachel McNeil spoke earlier with Shannon about her triumph over cancer. First of all, congratulations to you. <laughs> Thank you so much. That's a big milestone. Now, I understand that this all came about because of a routine checkup. Can you tell me how your ovarian cancer was identified? Yes, absolutely. It was just a routine checkup. We were thinking about um, potentially expanding our family and I just went in basically to get the prenatal vitamins and the once over and um, ended up uh, leaving uh, knowing that I had a baseball sized cyst on my left mm -hmm. ovary. So um, I found out that I had a pelvic mass and then about a month later found out that it was a malignancy. It was a rare form of ovarian cancer. So it was, it was definitely a whirlwind and it's certainly one of those reasons that I'm sure sharing my story and helping other women make their health the priority, hopefully. Did you have any symptoms? You know, asked after um, the diagnosis, I told people, no, no, I felt fine. And then looking back and really understanding what the signs and symptoms are, um, I realized I actually was having three of, of four of the major signs uh, and symptoms, and that was bloating. I had weight loss. Um, I had stomach aches. Um, all of these things are, are kind of normal things that women go through most every month. Mm -hmm. I um, had just had a baby. My son had just turned a year old, and so my body had go gone through so many changes that I just kind of wrote them off as just kind of things that that women experienced and um, what I want to make sure women know is if they have these these symptoms another one is frequent urination if they have any of these symptoms and they persist more than a couple of weeks go in see your doctor it's better to be safe than sorry early detection is absolutely critical in these situations and talk a little bit about OVA1 and that can how that can help women so I have partnered with OVA1, which is a blood test. This was not available when I was diagnosed, and it is now, and this is a fantastic tool that women and physicians can use. If a woman has a pelvic mass, which one in five women will have a pelvic mass, not all of those are gonna be cancerous. In fact, the majority won't be. But this test allows you to identify if you're at a higher risk for cancer. And in that case, you can make sure that you're with a specialist to perform that first surgery. And when a specialist performs that first surgery. Um, for example, when I had um, a gynecologic oncologist perform my surgery, you have a better chance of survival. It actually improves survival by 40%. So that's a big deal, mm -hmm. especially with something as horrendous as ovarian cancer that is often caught at a later stage. Well, Shannon Miller, thank you so much. We're going to put more information about OVA1 on our website, clicktohouston.com. Congratulations to you on this very significant milestone, and we look forward to seeing you at the Olympics in Rio. Absolutely great. Thank you so much. I'm looking forward to it.